hate my job, but I gotta pay these bills. I'm in a relationship with somebody. I don't really love them, but they're going half with me on the rent. I know I need to do better, but I don't think I'm ready. Let me ask you a question. Is your comfortability costing you? Is it costing you where you're starting to make excuses for why you can't do better, you can't know any better, and you can't get better? For some of us, it's, you know, it's our past. You know, I had a friend of mine that uh, always blamed her past on why she couldn't get better. Oh, because of how I was raised. I'm like, you're 31. You know, and there was really no sympathy there in a sense where not that I was, wasn't trying to understand. It was just the fact that we are now of age. We are now well of age and we can't, we can no longer blame, blame our, our parents for what they failed to do because now they're older and we're going to end up taking care of them and life is now in our, on our grips. So whatever they actually fail to do, we now make it right. But some of you guys, it's a, it's a job. And I've seen this plenty of times. You know, I worked in the prison system and it was such a hopelessness there. I mean, it was a beautiful thing to relate to the employee, employee to employee about the stuff that's really happening in the jail, the stuff that they don't like the media to see, you know, the realness, because let's face it, you know, I'm not getting to politics here, but there is such a thing as the media lying. And what I mean when I say that is um, a lot of things they don't show you. So a lot of things they sell just to make money. So when I'm talking to some of my coworkers here, you know, we can relate and we're going back and forth about the, just the, just the, the, the way we're treated as criminals and we, didn't have, we haven't even done anything. And just the policies is making it more dangerous to walk inside prison. So as, I, as we were expressing all of that frustration, you know, here we are talking. And then at the end of it, you know, I'm, I'm a type of person that's like, okay, so, so what's next? What are we going to do? Like, you know, what should we do next to actually combat with the way we feel and, and not in the sense of being emotional, but this is not right. Something has to change. They will sit back and they'll look at me and they say, well, there's nothing to do. This is how we get money. What else is there? And I know some of you guys can't relate to being a CEO. I get it because, you know, you have to be now that I see you have to be a special type of crazy to actually enjoy, you know, and wanting to be there in prison. But I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to a toxic environment, whether it's relationship, family life, whether it's uh, co-workers and just your job atmosphere. Um, but yet you're coming up with excuses on why you can't get better. You can't do better. You can't open a book to know better. It takes too much time. Um, you know, I have a lot of days off. I have vacation. Some people don't even want to quit because of the amount of vacation time they can actually, they need to burn. They want to be entrepreneurs. They want to do all these things, but they're not willing to sacrifice to get it. And that's the thing about it. It's like the people who you work for, the people who I work for sacrifice to make this system a system. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, People who work for Apple, you know, um, I'm not saying Steve Jobs, he didn't start Apple, but he basically uh, evolved it. So the people that work for him is because he had a vision. The people that work for, you know, Disneyland is because Walt Disney had a vision. So whoever has a vision is the one who's in control. That's the guy who doesn't have to wake up because the clock says eight o'clock. He has to go take a shower and make sure everything is okay so he can be to work on time. That's the guy who sleeps late. The, the lady who refused to take abuse from a husband or a boyfriend um, would sit there and sacrifice being alone and getting herself together just to find that person that will value her over a physical thing. Regardless if this is the main breadwinner. And I'm not saying this to attack anybody. I just want to ask you guys a question. Is your comfortability expensive? 
Is it costing you your peace? Is it costing you where you don't even know you? I was getting to that point. I was getting to that, to that. I was there for a brief moment because I actually just had to get out of it because I'm like, no, this, this is not right. And you know, sometimes your mind plays tricks on you, but I was there where I didn't even know what I like to do. You have a day off and don't even know what to do besides uh, do laundry and just run around and do errands that you didn't have time to do on your, you know, because you had to go to work. That's not living, y'all. That's existing. That's existing. In today's age and time, that is existing. Maybe back in the 80s, 90s, and even 70s and, and, and back then when we didn't have all this stuff. God, you always have a choice. <laughs> it's so funny because it's like a lot of people just X out the Bible as if it's just obsolete to today's time and, you know, whatever. But there is some some real truth to this. You know, it's, 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 it's quoted in the, in the Bible where it says, I place before you life death blessings curses shoes but yet we remember we remember like stuff like the matrix you know which basically is saying the same thing in in a in a in a visual way the red pill or the blue pill i believe the red pill was the one that was a little bit harder to actually um take take down but once it's down and once it settles your life would be much easier so the red pill for a lot of you guys would be sacrifice would be late nights would be um uh being alone and learning not to be lonely being alone because the blue pill is comfortability the blue pill is taking crap you really don't have to take it's just your your fear takes over you to, to make you paralyzed and not do anything about it the blue pill is excuses. The blue pill is average. The blue pill is is delusion. The red pill is freedom. I ask you again, is your comfortability costing you? Because you're the key. Right now, if you're, if you're stuck in the blue, the blue path, the blue pill environment, the beautiful part about this is that you're also the red pill. You're the key to turning your whole situation around. You're the key to, to, to life expectations. Willing to sacrifice. Willing to stop the excuses. Willing to feel the, feel the fear and just do it anyway. A lot of you guys, you know, you might have started a job that you hate now. You were nervous about the interview. But guess what? You needed the money. You did it anyway. And the same person, whether it was 10 years ago that you started your job, 15, 20 years ago, that got that same job that right now is a toxic environment, you can get another one. It's just the fact that sometimes starting over is hard. Some of us don't have the strength, but then we do. What are we willing to sacrifice? I place before you. Life, death, lessons, and curses. You choose. Be worth it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.